Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, thank you. Once again, my name is Deanna Walcott. I'm 14 years old. I am a singer, songwriter, rapper, and music producer. But I'm here, I'm going to do a little something, something for you guys. And if you guys know this song, I want you guys to sing it. Enjoy. We have other, lots of other, other stuff around here. As you can see, all of different different things. reporting for Sam's Caribbean Marketplace and we're at the Yam Festival. Just want to say big up to all the workers. Ian on the grill, Aldane on the soup, and jerk chicken on the grill. What else we have here? Jerk chicken as well. We also have escovitch fish, goat head soup, roast corn, coconut job, sweet potato pudding, coconut water. <laughs> so big up to all the staff. <laughs> I'm big up BETV. Oh, it's the jerk shrimp. Jerk shrimp. Oh. And jerk shrimp on roast corn. Jerk corn? No, not yet. <laughs> no jerk 
on. Two ten dollar change. Yes. All right. So big up to everybody coming and supporting us today. Big up. You now watch. Shelly. I'm Noel. I'm Armaya. I'm Joshua. I'm Kira. Okay, 
And the name of the dance group is? Batinga Arts. Arts. And you're coming out of Brooklyn, right? Nice. So how do you guys like Farm Up Jamaica so far? It's really nice. I'm half Jamaican, so I'm extra happy. <laughs> yeah, awesome. The crowd is awesome. Yeah. It's very comforting. Make me feel welcome. It was fun. Very fun. It was it was so fun, like the crowd. I just I like the crowd. Yes, you ladies and gentlemen did very good. So I hope you guys go get some good food and enjoy your rest of your time here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, welcome to VTV. Could you tell us a little bit about Zing? How, how do you pronounce? Batinga. 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 Yes. yes. So Batinga, Batinga Dance and Drum Productions, we are a group based out in Brooklyn, and it's our mission to take young people to preserve the culture of West African and Afro-Caribbean diaspora. We try to educate them, we try to help them to understand, to celebrate. It's not only what we see in videos, music videos, there's a culture behind it. And so what we do is, we've been fortunate to get a grant from Brooklyn Arts Council, and so I take them to some of those that don't have summer youth employment, so they're not home watching TV. We train them, we bring in different artists to work with them, and then we go all over the community and just give back by offering free performances. So what happens is we're trying to teach them to be thankful to people that's less fortunate than you. So we go to veterans hospitals, senior citizens homes, festivals, health fairs. It's teaching them to give back. It's helping them to um, build self-esteem because now they're on stage and they're dancing in front of a lot of people. But then it's also bringing joy to the people that are here because some people like in the hospitals don't have access to the arts. So it's like a big, it's not just they coming out and dancing. It, even in our group, they have to write about what are the issues that they face as young people. And then so by the end, we come together with this program that kind of talks to adults, politicians, parents. This is what we as young people are going through. But instead of speaking, we dance it. We do spoken words. So this is a, that's kind of what we're doing. Yes, yes, yes. And the age range for your group is? Right now, so we started out taking them like about 10. We had so many people that were younger. So my youngest is four right now. Four, and I don't turn them away. I have some adults. I have teachers that are on vacation for the summer. Say, oh, can I come in? Yes. We take them all. It's my belief that the arts unifies people. I don't care how old you are. I don't care what race, what ethnic group you are. We come in. We learn from each other, and we dance together. <laughs> More like a village community kind of thing. Definitely. Definitely. Beautiful. Beautiful. And your name? Again? My name is Persephone DaCosta. I'm Persephone Costa, I'm the artistic director. My company's called Batinga Dance and Drum Productions. One more thing, what we also do, we partnership with a lot of different organizations. So we got here um, with Jesse Hamilton, the Senator Jesse Hamilton's office. Um, I work also with um, Downstate Hospital in Brooklyn, and I offer a free class. We're trying to fight type, due to type two diabetes as well. So every Saturday morning at 10.30, we get there, we put on our soca music, we clear out the office, and we jump up and we, yes. And it's like, anyway, so we get the parents to come out with their children because if we're doing it together one that's building unity amongst the families but also we're working out together and it's fun and it's not like oh we got to go to the gym we whining and we jumping up and we sweating yes yes that's beautiful so where could they find you if they're interested well we have a, a, a website is www.batingaarts.com that's b-a-t-i-n-g-u-a another a for arts a-r-t-s dot com um, I'm on Instagram as Batinga underscore arts. We're on Facebook as Batinga Arts. So you can look us up anyway. And we come out, we, we travel. We're from Brooklyn, we're in Queens. We travel to the Bronx and do shows. Wherever there's a need or love for the arts, we're there. Nice. Beautiful. Thank you, sister. Thank you so much. Keep up the good work. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, ready? BETV here. We have the big one and only Major Hype. How are you? Welcome from up Jamaica. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm here. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful event, it's a family event, so we're here, we're having a good time, you know? Yes, yes. Have you had any other good food here? We have tropical jerk here, we have so many other vendors. Tropical jerk? Yes. When you're so? <laughs> you know what you're that yet. Well, you go inside, you see Tropical them. jerk? Yes, tropical jerk. We also have the jerk center. No, yes. no sir. So, so they a jerk out. Yes. <laughs> so? No jerk yeah, no jerk out. We just jerk out, you know? So, how did you hear about Farm Up Jamaica? Uh, well, you know, news get around, you know what I mean? You got social media nowadays and, you know, it's, I mean, even though it might be miles away, it's actually one, one button away, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, everything is on social media. Nice. Right? Well, we want to thank you for coming and we hope you get some good food Definitely. and enjoy the music and the performances. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you said. Yes, I'm big on BETV. Yes. BETV, big up yourself. You don't know. Be yourself. You hear that? You don't know, man. Thank you. We're gonna sing this one together, yeah? That's right. I love it.
together and feel love. Oh, let them all pass on their dirty remarks. There is one question I'd really love to ask. Is there a place for the hopeless sinner who has hurt all mankind just to save his own and mean?
want to thank everyone for coming out tonight or today and just realize that you all partied for a cause. This was not a regular concert or festival. You walked out, you, I hope you had good food, maybe you did some shopping in the farmer's market, which, you know, we need a little tweaking on. But all in all, people in Jamaica need help. Farmlands are being used for building houses. And you can put a stop to that if we come together as a diaspora. When I say diaspora, I don't mean an organization. I mean us, Jamaicans that live abroad. And we can help Jamaicans who live a yard. So if you don't love Jamaica, you clap. So I don't want to hear you have this bag of family land, park up in Jamaica, and nobody now do nothing with it. I don't have to get up and do something, or I'm going to take it. Muta Maruka said, I'm going to claim it, capture land. So here is our opportunity to do something for Jamaica. When you come to a Farm of Jamaica event, you are helping young people in Jamaica to farm more food, to reduce importation of foreign food into the country. You are helping to put young people to work. You are also helping to increase the Jamaican GDP, which agriculture only represents 6% of the Jamaican GDP. So we all have a duty to do. So everybody needs to go, go to farmofjamaica.org, farmofjamaica.org, make your donations, and keep this close to your heart. My name is Neil Curtis. I want to thank all of you for coming out. And I think I'm getting a flag here. Let's see. I don't know, but I'm going to wave this flag. <laughs> and say thank everybody for coming out. All my vendors, please, please. Do us a favor and make sure you clean up your stall. My mother would say, can't see, you can't see, or a nasty, you're nasty. So now go ahead and clean up on a stall. Do not leave the place in a wreck because it's a Farm of Jamaica event. This is a fundraiser. It's not the normal event. So thank you and God bless. <laughs> One more much birthday, y'all, so. Yeah. Yeah. B.A.T.V. larger than life. Come on, Marley speaking. Yeah, keep it locked right here. B.A.T.V. Respect. Greetings, blessed love. My name is Kalila Rose. And um, basically, I'm a root reggae singer. I have an album coming out in a few months. And I have Place In Your Heart single out. And um, Barriers is coming out, really. We're here just to fight down Babylon and keep the vibes flowing and uplift, uplifting the masses. Um, big up B E T V. I am a queen, and this is who I'm meant to be. Yeah. While having fun, breaking down them barriers. Bless up B E T V. Rastafari. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Thank you. We are here at B E T V, and we have Kimani's beautiful, gorgeous backup singer. Your name? Simone Gordon. Simone G or songbird, I have a lot of names. How long have you been performing with Kimani? Well, actually, I was singing back home for Stephen Marley okay. for about five years, and in that time, I've worked with Kimani and all of the brothers. Um, so this was just actually a reunion at the last minute. Oh, wow. uh, he saw me and he's like, you're gonna come sing with me? I was like, of course, because uh, he's like my my brother, so. Oh, yeah, I saw you up there. You were jamming, girl. I was watching yeah. you. You did beautiful. How can you not jam? Come on. <laughs> it's come on in Marley on stage, and I'm at pure vibes. Yeah. So you have to just enjoy yourself, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So how is it working with him and the brother? He is, all of them are, they're wonderful. Really, really wonderful. Energy, wonderful vibes. It's like a family. Um, so I can't, you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But now I'm with, like, Junior Marvin from... Bob Marley's Whalers, I sing back up for him, and I'm doing my own thing as Simone G. I'm with Talking Dreads, work with Third World, a lot of people, so I'm around and about, but yeah. So you say you're doing your own thing? Yeah, of course. As Simone G, you can find me on Facebook, uh, YouTube, um, just putting out my own style of, you know, reggae and jazz and a little fusion. Okay, and they can find you under Simone G. Yes. 
Okay, so we have Miss Simone G here with BETV. Of course, BETV, you don't know, in other place, giving you all the greatest news and the biggest vibes in the biggest show. Keep it locked right there, all the time. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I want to thank everybody for coming out and supporting Farm of Jamaica. It's our first ever big fundraiser trying to help people in Jamaica to revitalize lands that are laying fallow, doing nothing, putting idle hands to idle lands. And we want people, you all, to become a part of it. You know, we, this is a diaspora organization. We're a non-profit organization. We have a 501c3. We're um, sanctioned by federal law. And, you know, it's, a, it's time now. Here's a time where we can really get back into what was the backbone of Jamaica, which is agriculture. And we just know that this is the right way because it puts people to work, it reduces crime, it increases the economy, and it does so much for our people. If you love Jamaica, you really want to do something, join us at Farm of Jamaica and become a part of history. My name is Neil Curtis, Director of Farm of Jamaica. Thank you.